Well, it's something parents might love, the world's first self-warming baby bottle. This guy, Rich Jamiro, takes a look at the inspiration behind it in today's Textmark. Good morning. Here it is, world's first self-warming baby bottle. I'm not sure if you remember warming up bottles. Oh, I remember all that stuff. There were so many rules. Don't put it in the microwave. Don't feed them after midnight. All these things you had to do when you had a new baby. Just kidding about the gremlin swan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a gremlin reference. I, I didn't get it. I, I didn't get the no. I'm like, what? Come on, someone I'm like, got it in here. Oh, I'm Jimmy sure they it. did. Right, way then. to age yourself. Like us. I just rewatched the movie on the way to Japan a couple of months ago. Oh, okay. So that's why it's like fresh. When did, that anyway. was like 80s. Yeah, right? oh yeah, okay. way long ago. Okay, anyway, there's so many rules, especially heating up. Now the company known for keeping coffee at the perfect temperature is introducing a new product to make feeding time easier. That is our new six ounce cappuccino mug. Ember has made a name for itself with mugs that keep coffee and tea at the perfect temperature. We're now in 27 countries. We are in over 5,000 retail stores. They've also invented a reusable refrigerated shipping box. And now the temperature control company is introducing a self-warming baby bottle. The bottle warmers that are on the market, you put it in, you turn an egg timer, it goes five minutes and dings. The, the device has no idea what the milk temperature is. CEO Clay Alexander says he got the idea over a decade ago with the birth of his daughter. Squirting milk on your wrist, you're a new parent, you have all these anxieties. And so I thought, God, there's got to be a better way. The $400 Ember Baby Bottle System consists of a rechargeable warming puck. Put the magnetic bottle on top, press a button on the base or your phone, and the liquid inside reaches the perfect temperature in minutes. A viscosity sensing system and a convection current in the liquid ensure even heating. Our bottle has triple redundancy in it. We actually have three separate circuits inside the bottle so that it can never be heated above body temperature. Ember worked with pediatrician Dr. Tanya Altman to develop the bottle and app, which tracks feedings and offers guidance. The reason we don't recommend warming up baby bottles in the microwave is because the microwave can denature some of those important proteins that your baby needs for nutrition. Also, it can cause uneven heating in hot spots, which can burn your baby. And the technology with Ember is actually made to prevent any of that from happening. On the go, a thermal dome keeps liquids cool. So I don't have to take it out of this dome. No, you do not. To warm it up. That that is correct. Where was this when I had my yeah, kids? Exactly. <laughs> Everyone says that to me. Everyone says that. All right, another feature that parents will appreciate is how the major wireless circuitry is actually in this rechargeable puck and not in the bottle itself. They did a lot of focus testing. Parents said, I don't want the Wi Fi and Bluetooth and all that stuff by my baby's face. So. It's in the bottom when you charge it. Very cool. All right, if you want more information, go to the website. It's richontech.tv, and there's the radio show happening Saturday, KFI AM 640, 11 a.m. All right, we'll be listening. Thank you, Rich. Let's go to weather. Yeah, we're going to talk about.